If you touch your middle finger, our middle finger reminds us that we need to connect with our strength daily. Our strength is our relationship with Jesus Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit. We do that through daily devotion, prayer, Bible study, getting quiet, and listening to God. Second, our ring finger reminds us that we need to have important relationships. We need to cultivate friendships where we can be faithful and we can be honest and they can be faithful and they can be honest with us. We need to cultivate relationships where we are connected to someone through the power of the Holy Spirit because it is through those relationships that we grow in Christ. Third, our pinky reminds us that we need to care and provide for the weakest and the smallest. We're called to show compassion to those in need. We are called to work for justice and stand in the breach of those who are in need, who could, who could use anyone's help. Jesus wants us to be a voice for those who don't, who don't have a voice. He wants us to love the, love the unlovable and remember those whom society tends to forget. Fourth, our index finger reminds us that we need to point other people to Jesus. Our job is as simple as that. We're supposed to be a witness for Jesus, to, to share our faith, to be a light for him in dark places. And God's intent is for other people to come to know him through you. We're going to challenge all of us on this because this, I believe, is our biggest opportunity here at Cornerstone to point to Jesus. Fifth, our thumb reminds us that uh, our thumb, uh, uh, because it supports whatever we carry, it reminds us that we're, that we're to support the church. Through our time, through our talents, through our treasure, we're called to give to the community to which we are called, the local church of which we are a part. And then six, and finally, in our hand is our palm. The palm reminds us that we need to worship with an open hand, receiving all things loosely, not seeking to receive or hold tightly onto whatever expectations we're carrying, and, and we're, 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 we're open to finding God wherever he is at work and praising him for what he is doing at a moment's notice and being filled with joy when, when we find him. 